I got to tell this story, and then I got to get out of here. I, 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 you know, I'm tell you, I'm getting bald headed. This is show of the world, and I got this cat here. That sorry thing trying to tear everything up in hell. So I'm I might shoot that thing, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Anyway, I want to tell this. You know, when I was a little boy, well, I had a pretty good childhood and all that. But, but I'll tell you something. My mom used to tell me bedtime stories, and you know. I told my kids bedtime stories, but I never did tell them nothing like what my mama told me. I, I'm going to tell you one of them stories that she told me. You know, she told me, she used to tell me, you know, we'd get in there and it'd be dark. We didn't have electric lights. We had old lamps back then because we lived so far back out in the country, though. They didn't have no power in this area part of the country here. And we get in there, and my goodness, she'd blow that old lamp out, and it'd be dark. I'd be, I was about three, four years old when I remember. She'd get in there in the bed, because I was scared to go to sleep. She'd tell me now, tell you a bedtime story. So she'd tell me about this old man. She, she said, she said, this is boy. He said, he, he was about your age. Said, uh, and said, you know, said, he come, went out playing, and he come in, told his mama he didn't feel good, and she told him just to lay down over on the couch. And so that little rascal, he laid down there and said, that sucker died. See, about your age, she'd always, he's always about my age. She told me that story when I was about 10 years older, older. He's always about my age. Said he died. Oh, said his mama, she just started crying and a crying. Said old Pa come in after a while. He come in, she wanted, he won't ask her what's wrong, Ma. He said, Oh, Johnny, he done done dead on us. He said, But he can't be dead. Yeah. Oh, she just bellering and the crying and he couldn't console her and he looked at Johnny and then she said, He ain't dead and they said, Yeah, he is too. So we're going to have to bury him. And they laid him on that board in there because they dressed him at home. So they, so they laid him up in the bed and they tied him on that board so he wouldn't get, so he'd get still and they could fix him right in the casket. They dressed him, they'd build him a box at home and bury him. But Ted, she wanted to get him a pretty glass covered casket. That's back before they embalmed him, you know. He might your age, you see. I'd start shaking my heart and be start running again. She said, they got the prettiest casket you ever seen. Put him in it, got that glass covered. I said, she all night long, said she cried. And said, she said, he ain't dead. I know he ain't dead. They went on through all this the visitation and all, and then Went through the funeral at the church and took the little boy's body in there and said to everybody look down in that glass coffin. You know, they put them in that glass coffin. That kind of helped to stink down there. If it got, you know, a few days, your body get to smell it if you wasn't careful. And it got to stink. So they got that. Went through the funeral and they carried his little box out to the funeral, out to the graveyard. And, Laid him down in the ground, and everybody got up and looked over it, and then they went on back. They carried him away when they buried him, covered him up. She went home. He wasn't dead. She said, I know he, my little boy he ain't dead. I know he ain't. She's all night long. She kept on. He wanted them to dig him up. So she just kept on and on and on. A poor little old boy, he's just about your age, she said. Oh. Man, I just scared the hound out of me. I'm laying there just as dark as pitch. Scared my heart just be running away with me by then. So she kept on. They finally talked me and they dug him up. And she said, you know what? She said, they, that glass was broke in that cage. She's saying a heap. He done, he wouldn't did, you know. He broke that glass. He's trying to get out. I tell you what, ain't that something? And I'd just be just a shuddering from fear.